Shalom. Call Halayim La, Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem Rakakwadash. Double honors to the elder apostles, the elders of Great Millstone as GMS. Peace and blessing to the Akimin of you Akwath across the four winds. This is your brother Batamaya from Great Millstone Houston coming to you with a quick lesson. Now I'm sure by by now most people have already, you know, seen this brawl that went down in Montgomery, Alabama between, you know, so called black people and so called white people, which the so called white people are the Esau Edom, which is the Edomites, you know. That's the definitely definitely the Caucasian race for the most part, you know. They've been mixed and mingled just like Esau, I mean, just like uh, the Israelites have been mixed and mingled across all these nations. And then you have the so-called black people, which go back to the Israelites, which are the Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. But in this situation, it looked like it was mainly Southern Kingdom, which would be Judah, Benjamin, and Levi. Judah being the Negroes, Benjamin being like the the Caribbeans, the West, um, West Indies, Jamaica. And then you have the Haitians, which are, you know, Levites. <laughs> But, you know, it was a big brawl that went on. It looked like it all could have been avoided, but it was just all through the spirit. Um, but, yeah, I know brothers have been going in on, on these videos. You know, very edifying lessons. But I got this from Today.com. A waterfront brawl in Montgomery, Alabama went viral. What happened and why? You know, the the, the most high cause that Yahweh by Shimmy Yahweh Shah. Yahweh being who in the world ignorantly calls God. You know, his name means he is, he exists, he to be, and his only begotten son is Yahweh Shai. His name means he is the savior, he's the redeemer. So, you know, they cause everything, both good and bad. But a large brawl broke out after a group of rowdy boaters attacked a dock worker who was trying to get them to move their pontoon so a city river riverboat could dock, witnesses said. And the pontoon is pretty much like a, a flat bottom boat, you know. And what you you seen, um, if you watch the videos, you'll see exactly what it looks like, or you could just simply Google it. Um, but I had a few precepts that I wanted to bring out. I didn't want to make it too long. Um, first precept I had was Isaiah chapter 19, verse 2. And I will set the Egyptians against the Egyptians, and they shall fight every one against his brother, and every one against his neighbor, city against city, and kingdom against kingdom. So, you know, this is modern day Egypt. You can read that in uh, Revelation chapter 11, verse 8. This Babylon the Great is considered spiritually Sodom in, in Egypt. Egypt goes into bondage, which is our captivity. And then, you know, Sodom and Gomorrah, whereas there's a lot of, um, I'll just say, same-sex activity and other, um, you know, perverseness, other um, against the, the scriptures, you know, sexual en encounters, I'll say it like that. But, you know, there was a, a fight. <laughs> you have Egyptian against Egyptian. You have, you know, so-called brothers. I only say so-called because even though we are technically kin to Esau Edom, but he's polar opposite, you know. They try to use that brother card, but hey, they always have, you know, a hatred towards us, but hey, we are, we already know who's the better fighters. You can look in to MMA, you can look into the boxing world, you know, Jacob, you know, which Jacob goes back to, we call him Jake, which is short for Jacob, but Jacob name was changed to Israel. So it goes to the Israelites and you break that down in the Hebrew is Yasharala. He prince power. You know, Yah, He, Shar, Prince, and then Allah is power. So we're the sons of God. So, of course, we're going to be better at, you know, fighting. And, you know, we're going to have more of a warrior spirit. Uh, next precept I had, pretty much going into the hatred, Ezekiel 35 and 5. And Esau, Edom, been hating us since the womb, you know. We've been going at it since the womb, and they still going to have a, a, a hatred towards us, even when we have them in captivity. But Ezekiel 35 and 5, because thou has had a perpetual hatred, which perpetual just means continual. So like I was saying, since the womb, from, you know, if you want to go all the way back to Cain and Abel, you know, Cain always had the hatred towards Abel. Abel represent, you know, 
Israelites, and then Cain represent Esau, Edom, the Edomites. You know, they have that same spirit all the way into when they're in captivity for those thousand years before they get eradicated. You know, they get erased from the earth. But Ezekiel 35 and 5, because thou hast had a perpetual hatred and has shed the blood of the children of Israel by the force of the sword in the time of their calamity and the time that their iniquity had an end. So, you know, this, this devil, Esau, Edom, you know, they always, you know, try to outnumber us because they know they can't defeat us one-on-one. -on -one. That's why you know, when they start jumping on the um, the dock worker, you know, they thought they were, you know, just going to pretty much like back in what the 60s, you know, 50s and so on, you know, prior before that, they were just going to be able to whoop some ass and, and, and go back home, you know, drunk and talk about it. Hey, they went back home, you know, with an L, a big L, and it's been broadcast, you know, it's went, it went viral. So that ass whooping is went, <laughs> it's global now. But they always had a perpetual, a, perp a perpetual hatred, and, and it still goes to show you. And you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, you need to figure out who the, who your enemy is, because you know they're gonna con they've been constantly showing. But hey, you are gonna find out the hard way. But you know the Lord put the spirit on this um, dock worker to, to receive some help. You know, the guy. <laughs> jumped off the boat and was swimming you know that was pretty funny but hey the lord put the spirit on him to do so because it could have been more people to, to swim over you know it, it was jake's coming out of nowhere out the woodworks as they say to come help that dock worker even though he was throwing them things too but this is going to be a constantly battle against esau edom until the lord yahweh by shimmy you know until the lord yahweh shah comes you know the to ultimately the most high yahweh sends yahweh shah to come save us but the last precept I had was Genesis chapter 49, verse 8. Judah, thou art he whom thy brethren shall praise. Thy hand shall be in the neck of thine enemies. Thy father's children shall bow down before thee. Judah is a lion's whip. From the prey, my son, thou art gone up. He stooped down. He crouched as a lion. And as an old lion, who shall rouse him up? He saw Edom got us riled up. And we got that that lion like spirit you know judah does represent you know the lion you know it's the head tribe you know i believe that's revelation five and five let me uh check that too salakia yeah Revelation chapter 5, verse 5. And one of the elders said unto me, Weep not. Behold, the lion of the tribe of Judah, the root of David, had prevailed to open the book and to loose the seven seals thereof. So, you know, they have that lion of Judah, which represents Yahweh Shai. You know, he, he comes from the uh, the root of David. You know, we come from that, that, that royal seed. You know, we have King Solomon, which was Yahweh Shai also. If you can receive it in the spirit, but... Um, back to the precept, you know, he rouses up as a lion. So he was whooping ass when you, when you watch a lion in the jungle, he'd be whooping ass. Um, I just recently seen a video. I made me think about, it was like this stray dog, which will, will be a representation of the Edomites, you know, have all this bark, but no bite. So he's barking at this, um, this tiger and he was laying there. And then the tiger looked at him, then he rose up to his feet, and then he killed him real quick, like put him to death, and he had him a little snack for later, like, like what the fuck was you doing? <laughs> and that's pretty much what happened to these Edomites on this uh on this dock. But you know, that the, I'd say Jake, the Jakes, they uh they definitely had that foot in their enemies necks. And they was whooping their ass, hitting them with folding chairs. Now you got <laughs> Jakes out here praising these folding chairs and acting like they buying them from, you know, Walmart and all these different stores, you know, going back into idol worship, but you know, the Lord is showing, you know, little glimpses of what's going to be happening in the kingdom. We're going to have our foot on our enemies necks, and that's not just going to be Esau eat them. They're just the top wicked. They're the, our top enemies, but it's going to go for you Hamites, you so-called Africans, you Ishmaelites, which is you Arabs, Elamites, you East Indians, you know, you Persians, 
and so on and so forth. You know, Jaffa, you're not ex excluded. You know, you Polynesians, you know, Australians and so on and so forth. But all of our enemies, we're going to have our foot on y'all necks in the kingdom in righteousness. But we definitely going to pay y'all back of what y'all since y'all had us in captivity, you know. But that was all that I had on this. Lord willing, it was edifying. Call Halayim La, Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem, Rakakwadash. Double honors to the elder apostles, the elders of Great Millstone. Peace and blessing to the Akimen of you, Akwath, across the four winds. Shalom, and the Baba Ball. Kwame Yashallah.